on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, don't hurt them. As in a uh, class of 1A, 1B, and so on, they're pretty much seeing Eri in the corner crying, as well as Oraka pretty much levitating every single piece of equipment that is designated as maze. As she's looking at the other, she will say, Stop her, she's gonna kill my babies. What's going on here? She killed Izuku. If they ask me what happened, she's like, uh, 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 Experiment, uh, Aries Quirk. As Aries starts crying louder, it's like, saying it's her fault. It's like, I, uh, she's so sorry. She didn't mean for this to happen. It's like, what? She killed Izuku. Uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, you did what? It was an accident. <clears throat> As then Tokiyami shows up, I was like, guys, this, something's up here. I'm not going crazy, right? Y'all know, uh, stories of Dracula and whatnot, right? His wife. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, the, the, Something's not wrong, he very wrong here. What are you talking about? Is it, there's a drawing here about his wife's savior? What? Yeah, it, it's weird, right? It, it, it can't be. I mean, from what I heard, she was burned at the stake, but what? But it says here someone saved her, and she's looking rather. Uh, similar to one such simmering role known as Izuku. So what's going on as he looks at Oraka and Mei and Eri and everyone else just what I miss. As yes, Oraka drops everything, Mei cries and tries to recover anything that can be salvaged, and she tackles Tokiyami, pinning him to the wall. Show me. Show me exactly what as yes, it's Izuku. Them. You didn't kill him. You see him back in fucking time! Oh. Huh. Well, uh. Oops. Oops. <laughs> All you can say is oops as she is crushing Tokiyami between her hands. <laughs> I did nothing wrong. Please spare me. I don't want to die this soon. Black sh but I. Oh, I'm so sorry. In Dark Shadow, just comforts Tokiyami. Like, don't worry. I won't let her hurt you. Where were you when she was. She tackled me? I was scared. I don't remember the last time I ever seen her that angry. That's fair, but still, <laughs> I depend on you for, for protection, too. When's the last time you protected me? Uh, well, from the light, you don't summon me, and I can come out whenever I want. I'm just not dumb enough to be out in the open every time, so... Uh, well, either way, you should have helped me. I forgive you, for now. Forgive me, you bastard. Them arguing as Oraka say, find him, bring him back. Wow. I mean, Oraka, we, we want him back as much as you do. <laughs> What's so funny, Mina? I don't think you that. I don't, we, I don't think we uh, want him back as much as Oraka does. If you get what I'm saying. Hmm? Wait, what are you talking as? Yes, he look at Oraka and she starts blushing. 
Oh. Oh, that's what it is, is it? It's the fact that you... So he was the one you were crushing on that... What are you saying was? Oh, oh, that portrait's words. Huh. Huh, well, for anything, all I can say is you may just, you better find a way to get to him quickly. Because who knows what kind of people would uh, find him interesting. What? Oraka looking back at Mina. Uh, oh, did I say too much? Oraka stomping. But every stomp she has actually seemingly exerting more force with every stomp. It's getting a bit to the point where. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, I'm sorry. Mm, what, what do you mean by that? Go, go ahead, tell me what you mean by that. Well, I'm just saying, uh, he saved, uh, uh, what's, what's his name's wife? Uh, he, he would probably be, be rewarded in some way, shape, or form. I don't see him being one for gold status or anything. I think he would just probably be one to see, be seen as a hero, which he honestly God is. And directly would see that as a good quality so let's say he had uh, some other some people who would like someone like <coughs> go ahead finish that statement <laughs> uh, I'm just saying <sighs> Medora is a pretty stand up guy I mean if he, uh, if he showed any real interest in, in women, maybe, but then again, it will be fun teasing him. Mia's starting to blush a little bit. Oraka started to squeeze her neck tighter. So I'm just kidding. I'm sure you were. Eri just walking up to Oraka, tugging on her shirt, saying, please don't hurt her. It's my fault. My quirk's like, no, no, dear, it's not your fault. Her just patting the ear on the head. <sighs> it's your fault. Hey, I did not tell him to try and save us. It's Midoriya. What'd you think he would do? I don't know. I just don't really pay much attention. To I'm going to kill her. I'd rather you didn't. But how about this? Mm, I find a way to bring him back. Well, te technically forward. And you do not hurt me or my babies. Is that you? And if you can't, hopefully you will find it in your heart not to do anything malicious towards me. In the kindness of your heart as a hero? Mm. I, I wouldn't care. I'd be a villain that that day. <laughs> uh, uh, is it a flash? A blinding blue light just appears out of nowhere as a circular mirror like so. This is like, what is that? Tokiyama is just like, him. <laughs> it seems as though it is a interdimensional portal caused by someone hoping to access this time or place. As then Dracula himself shows up. Oh, interesting. We actually seem to. Oh. How wonderful. All we need to do now is... Who are you? Oh. <clears throat> I am Dracula. And I trust that you know one... Isuka Midoriya. Yes. 
Yes, we do. Where is he? Did you kill him? What? what? Help, sir. Why would I kill my wife's savior? <sighs> if anything, I, I should have books written about this event. Though I will have to change it, since people do fear me. Not to mention, I will have to depict him as some sort of... I can't really say... Demon, since he isn't one, per se. But I could at least... Maybe a sorcerer, he could be labeled as. Or a battle mage, perhaps. Um, I'll think of something for the book. Wait, you, you mean this book? Oh, what's that name? Oh, that's a great title! Oh, wait. It would make sense. This is the future, if I'm correct. Where is he? Hmm? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you, young lady. Where is Midoriya? Uh, oh, right now he's training with Camila. Who that? Oh, she's just one of the vampires who doesn't care for her humans too much, or at least didn't, <laughs> until uh, certain circumstances presented themselves. What circumstances, pray tell, would that be? Oh, why her meeting of young Midoriya? What? Oh yes, apparently she's actually grown quite fond of him, and from what I can tell, he's gotten more close with her as well, which begs the question, someone as outstanding as him, how could you, how any of you allow him to slip through your fingers? Everyone's sensing a demonic, evil, malicious aura emanating from Oraka as he keeps piling it on. Like, how could someone be so careless, foolish, Ugh. just to let someone like that, such an outstanding young man, with well, quite a bright future, just hmm, slip through the cracks? Ugh. If anything, it seems as though he's been possibly friend zoned. Wait, you know what that word means? Well, technically, he's he's opened my eyes to several different phrases, you could say. But yes, it seems as though he's been friend zoned by some people. Huh. Shame. If anything. Well, I can tell from Camille's uh, change in demeanor, her actions upon seeing me as of late. <sighs> she did end up skewering him with her claws, but he's healed to full recovery. <laughs> but she did actually end up stealing a kiss from him, but you know, he did seem quite shocked by the expression of affection. Araka try her best to hold in what anger she can so it's not completely noticeable. But yes, I must say, it's quite surprising that he hasn't found anyone yet. <laughs> Who knows, maybe if my son wasn't a boy or... Hmm. Yes. Yeah. I can see a great future for that young man. And whoever he ends up taking as his significant other. Which, yes, from what I can tell, may be Camila. I'm very happy for both of them. But I can't believe she was his first kiss. She was surprised by it as well, but I don't think I've ever seen her so happy with not killing a human. I must say, that boy certainly does have a certain air 
uh, something about him that just changes people's perception from time to time. When can we see him? Oh, um, I could have them someone do it. Oh dear. I'm sorry, young lady, but your attitude must be adjusted if you wish for a favor from me. <sighs> please forgive me for my outburst. Can you please summon Izuku Midoriya? Why, of course. As yes, Dragon calls for them and. Them looking at scrapes, bruises, Izuku healing slowly, as well as torn clothes, messy hair. Oraka is about to pass out and is just wondering, like, what the hell could have happened? But then Mineta just chimes in and says, Oh, yeah, they've been smashing. <coughs> What'd you say? Oh, come on. The messy hair, the clothes. Izuku, where's your shirt? Uh, wait, what are you... Guys! Uh, it's, it's nice to see you all. Answer my question, Midoriya. Uh, huh? What happened to your clothes? Oh, a training session got a little too heated, actually. Really? Huh, can we be expecting younger versions of yourself? Wait, I, what? I, no, I, was, he's looking at Camila's, her, just, don't look at me. I never agreed to bear your children. Her blushing, Mina catches on to this as well as the Kagura, like, yep, she wants it. She wants the little Deku right now, doesn't she? Oraka turning her head to the point where, yeah, only her head moves. She's looking right at them with the most malice of malice you could ever really see, especially from Oraka, to be precise. Um, no, I, I didn't, I didn't think, uh, wait, do you? <laughs> what do you say? Is Camila just trying to avoid the subject? Is like, this is this is uh, not the time to be discussing your reproductive matters. Well, I mean, we we've had uh, had some close calls every now and again. What? Or rather, like, explain yourself. She's right now wringing the necks of Mina and <sighs> Mineta. Who else? So, well, there was this one time when I was in the bath and she just appeared out of nowhere. She washed my back. It, it, it got a little weird considering she uh, actually smelled kind of nice. It's like, what? I mean, we didn't do anything. It's just, uh... Um... No, explain yourself, please. In detail. Mineta's like, Yes, we need details. Wait, wait, how are you talking right now? You should be dead. What? Wait, why are your pants as if... Because you're choking me. Oh! Oh, you... You sick bastard! Tease. What? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Uh, either way, uh, Midoriya. How are you and your seemingly very attractive vampire bride doing? She's not my bride. I mean, we're, we're just training partners, right? Camila? Her just turned her head. That's correct. That is all we are to each other. Her hating herself for saying it, but trying to fight is like, 
no, I am not falling for this human. I am not going to be like that. No, I am going to remain true to my beliefs and all that bullshittery of nonsensical vacation. But going on and on about how it's been him training, him actually learning more ways to utilize his quirk is pretty much like, huh. Oh yeah, check this out. As he starts floating, it's like, uh, you, you, do, you can fly. Oh yeah, it's awesome. Isn't it? Like, isn't it pretty great? <sighs> so, Mr. Dragler, when can you be uh, expecting him back? Or is this more like a portal in which we can... No, uh, I'm, I'm afraid not. What? Yes, you see, um, at least I can make a window in which you guys can conversate. But as far as, you know, this, uh, him coming back, it's, it could take a while. I don't have the, the right means to... Like, maybe if there was a way to open up the other side of the connection. Uh, uh, as they look at May. And then look at Eri. What? What are you looking As, oh, hello, young one. Eri's scared, but... You're not gonna hurt Izuku, are you? Of course not. He saved my wife. I owe him much. Okay. But let's get back to Camila's in their thoughts. In which she's more like, I can't fall in love with a human. No matter how much I do see him as better than the rest of his. <sighs> Filthy humans. <sighs> they dare to judge us even though they are ruining this world. As she's trying to instill her beliefs within herself, trying to convince herself that Izuku is maybe different but still the same blood. Yes, people can change, but you have to remember. Yeah, not everyone can be good or evil. I mean, not everyone is born good or evil. They're just victims of their environment. You have to think, what turned such and such into a bad person? What caused some people to become heroes while others turned to be more... Villainous in their roles. These are good questions. So she actually starts asking more questions about Izuku. To a point where he's like, hey, you still chose to be a hero. Yes. And this Kachan still breathes. Yes. You didn't kill him, ruin his career as a hero. You didn't... Uh, why? Why what? Why did you take your revenge as soon as you gained your power? I, I didn't want revenge. I mean, revenge for what? He bullied you, told you to take a swan dive, ridiculed you, made pretty much... Everyone turned blind eye to his bullying of you. Some of them actually join in. The teacher does not give a damn. Uh, well, that, that's not how I want to be. I don't want to be a vengeful person. I want to be a hero. And just because, yeah, he was the best friend I wanted or needed. Uh, why? Huh? 
Why? I'm sorry, why what? Why did I have to fall for someone so pure hearted? Huh? Uh, I, did I just say that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you heard me say that? I, I did. Forget everything you heard. What? I said forget as she picks up Izuku and slams him into a wall. Forget what you heard me say. But I, 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 I... What? What? If it's that bad for you, I, I guess I could... You just want to reject my feelings? Wait, what? You're going to just forget me confessing to you? Wait, but you just told me to forget what you said. That's right. Seriously, I would never be with a human like you. So just forget what you said. It's like, okay, I will. How can you be such a jerk? What did I do? What do I do? Tell me how you feel about as she's looking into those emerald eyes who he's his expression is that of worry, fear, as well as the pureness of pure as Izuku is. Her just kissing him. And this lasts for a good Five to fifteen seconds, so it was a long one. There ain't no denying that. But, uh, oh dear God, what have I done? What did I just? No, no. I, uh, I gotta go. Her just scurrying along back to where she came from. And Izuku is left with. Not only his first kiss, but now his second kiss being stolen. More thing is, this time, he doesn't feel weird about it. Like, he's not upset, he's not... Like, what the hell? Why did she leave? I'm touching his lips and... As then, yes, this is pretty much how the rest of his days are. She has to come back to the point where it's like, I think she hates me now. Nonsense, she loves you. As yes, this is on the little... Uh, FaceTime technology, in which everyone's like, she took both your your first and second kiss. Uraka's like, let me find this bitch and kill her myself. I will. If she dies, that that will make your kisses null and void, right? Why are you so mad? Oh, it's because she. <laughs> Why'd you again? Uraga, why'd you put her in the throat? Huh? Oh, I did? Yeah. Oh. Uh, my, my bad. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Agakure. How did you find my throat? Oh. Uh, look, I guess. Oh. Oh, it's, it's, so, Midori, are you going to smash her kicking Manetta right in the balls? It's like, <laughs> this is my family jewels, you, you assaulted. Yes, and the world will thank me. They'll, they'll throw me a parade for what I've done. Yes, world, you are welcome. 
I've done the world a great service. Hey, look on the bright side. Now you can sing falsetto. <laughs> no way. Huh. Either way, yes, if I come across this woman, I will kill her with great vengeance and furious anger. And she will know my... Don't you dare finish that statement. What? Don't you dare. Oh, come on, it's a class. No. Nope, nope, nope. You're not allowed to say it. You're not allowed to finish that, that statement. Rockus being disappointed was a... In a way, don't let it get you all bent out of shape. At least not yet. Do you want me... Do you want me to make sure you can never even have the tingle anymore? My family jewels will be avenged. <laughs> Good luck with that. It's pretty much... Is it good? Okay, I will talk to you guys later. It's been two months since he actually first got there. So, it's safe to say... Oof. It's been a... It's been a trying time. As yes, time goes by, Izuku's getting older. He's now 17 by now. And everyone else is just. Guys, have you gotten any closer towards. As then someone shows up, another vampire which is in danger. What? Wait, what are you talking about? I don't know, but she's been on a war path lately. What? As yes. Apparently, after the second kissing a dead, followed by her pretty much breaking down and going almost completely batshit crazy insano, she's pretty much like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to make these humans hate me. I want them to give me a good reason to hate them again. Because for some reason, this pain I'm feeling, it's not going away. I told him to forget what I said. That I tell him to not forget that he's a jerk for forgetting. What the hell is happening to me? It's going through her mind that she is slaughtering countless humans. Not even drinking their blood. Just leaving the corpses there. Not even bothering it. Hey, men, women, children, it doesn't matter. She wants hatred right now. She needs it for some reason. Just to take her mind off it, perhaps. As Izuku hears this, he's pretty much like... Oh, I, I gotta talk with her. Are you sure? God, are you the cause of this? I didn't do anything wrong. You play with her emotions. That is enough. Hell, do that to a woman alone is a death sentence. But a enhanced, vampire enhanced one? God is going... Will probably send you to hell just for doing something so stupid. I, I don't care. I'm going to see her. As yes, Izuku arrives a week afterwards, seeing the massive. Whoa. There are m hills of hills of bodies that she's left. People's corpses have been mutilated, ripped apart, torn to pieces, to the point where. Is that a human or was that just. Ugh, torn cloth? Or was that a cow? To the point where he's facing her and what are you doing here? I've come to hopefully talk some sense into you. What are you saying? Uh, wait, 
Are you trying to say I'm crazy? No, 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 no. I am not saying that. It's just saying you're going too far with the killing, don't you think? Saying, no, this is therapy. But what you did. Me? What I do? No, it's your fault. If you had never come here, I wouldn't be feeling this way. Feeling? It's because of the kiss? No. No, 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 no. It is not the kiss. It is not just the kiss. Why are you just... Leave. Please. As then... Horns can be heard. As armies appear out of nowhere. Oh no. Her seeing them from afar, she notices... Yeah, they're coming for her. No, no, no. And you're here now. They're coming to try to kill me. But now... She realizes, like... Uh, I brought this upon myself. I, I... I didn't want to talk about the kiss or anything. I didn't want to talk about anything, but I tried to get take my mind off of it. I didn't want to share, express my feelings to you, and oh, I killed so many innocent people. People who didn't do anything but live, and this is my punishment. As yes, Izuku, he sees as she just lunges out at the window and arrives right in front of the army. No words can make what I did right. I can't say anything to truly quell your anger, so do with me whatever you want. Kill me by drowning, burning, draw and quarter me, rip me apart by horses, or guillotine. It's your choice. Stay through the heart. Let me just bask in sunlight until I burn to a crisp. I don't care. If this will make you feel better, so be it. Izuku is shocked at this. No. I can't, I can't let her do that. As in, yes. The armies are pretty much... Okay. As they begin the complete onslaught, which is her. Izuku running in, seeing her being pretty much skewered, slashed. As well as bludgeoned but she keeps on healing but she feels everything him trying to push a people out of the way he's starting to use more one for all he's using black whip to split the sea as you could say everyone seeing it like he must be with her as then she turns around seeing Yuzuku Start to come across the enemies. But right in the distance, there's one bowman just waiting for a perfect shot. As Izuku is being bludgeoned, cut by swords, axes, daggers, she's trying to rip through other people just to get towards him adding you even more to her extensive body count to a point where as soon as there's little to no people in their way her prying them off of Ziku so the poor bowman releases the arrow Izuku clinging to life as it is, 
sees it out of the corner of his eye and pushes Camila out of the way just to get skewered. Her looking as his eyes close with a smile on his face. As she cries tears of blood and changes her eyes straight to the lone bowman. <laughs>